Yeah, yeah, they got in town last night, so um, we got together for a little bit, which is nice. Haven't seen them in a while, and um, yeah, it was cool. You know, we we spent two years together in college, played together, lived together, and uh, you know, he's probably my best friend right now. So it's cool to you know see him on the other side there. He had a good game, and um, but one and all for me, so I'll take that. Alex, about the game, obviously, just uh, 14 straight home wins in general. We'll talk about the game. Yeah, I, you know, every, every game here is, is important for us, especially those division games. And, um, you know, I thought we came out really strong. We had a really good first and kind of set the tone for the rest of the game. Um, you know, I think we were able to weather a bit of their storm there in the in the third. And, um, you know, to come back after they scored one, kind of reset and uh, be able to get the job done in the shootout. Um, it's a big win for us and move forward here. You feel more every night because you have your feet on the ground than yeah, I think so. I, I think, you know, with every game just comes a little bit more comfort and, um, you know, getting a bit closer with the guys and stuff. It's all good and, and familiar with, you know, systems and everything. You know, it's been, I don't know how many games it's been now, but um, yeah, I'm definitely feeling better and, you know, just trying to do what I can here to, you know, keep our team going and, um, you know, stay in the win column. What was your thoughts on that? Yeah, I honestly didn't really see it, so yeah, I don't have a comment there. I don't know what it is. I mean, he's he's obviously done very well, and uh, I, uh, I I don't know who I leaned over to. I think it might have been Dermy like last game, and I was like, I like Frankie in shootouts. Every time we do it in practice, I find it pretty hard to score on him. But I don't know. I, I think well for me personally, like, I think there's something about southpaws like in that and shootouts kind of changes the way guys kind of uh, approach a shootout. So, um, but he's yeah, he's been rock solid for us. So good for him. Uh, throw a little trip on him every now and then. Try to get a few cross checks in whenever I, you know, I'm against him. But that's it. That's the move. <laughs> sorry. No worries. All right, same time. Yep. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'll get okay. Um, did you? What was the reaction on the bench during the review on the Leafs goal? Yeah, I think like we thought that there was no way they could call it no goal. So uh, we were pretty confident going. It was, it was a little weird because of the the view and I was in his pad there, but um, yeah, I think we, we were pretty confident and, you know, good to get that one. Take through that goal and, and the weight. The what? Could you take us through your goal and the weight? Oh, the weight. The uh, yeah, I didn't know if they were going to count it or not. Um, I don't know the ruling. Technically on the, obviously it's under his foot, um, but since he can't, I don't know if you could see it from their angle. I, did, I couldn't see it on the Jumbotron, whatever, but. Yeah, I didn't know if it was going to count. Obviously, really happy it did. Uh, just trying to stay uh, either way, keep going kind of thing. But obviously, you're really hoping it, it, it counts. Pavel, how much practice goes into the shootouts for you? Do you do a lot of homework on players, or do you just kind of feel like you need to find them? Oh, I'm really trying to just read the, uh, the exact situation. I, I think, I mean, obviously, you know some players, what they like to do. But sometimes, if you know too much, it, it can kind of mess you up. Do you have a routine then over time in any game that you may have done in a shootout? Is there anything particular you make sure to do before it starts? I'm just trying to, uh, you know, like calm down and trying to uh, tell myself to be patient and read the situation. Nathan, do you think the hit on uh, Primo hit on uh, Kemp was uh, intentional? Uh, I'm not sure. I have to watch a replay. Well, you, you guys are getting it done on home ice, obviously, but the two of the four. I think it's good. I mean, we're killing teams for a while there every every night. So, um, you know, it's important for us to be in these tight games. I think I think last year we, you know, we didn't have many tight games. We, we beat a lot of teams really bad the whole year. So uh, I think in the playoffs that didn't help us. Um, but, you know, we're in high pressure situations against really good teams this season. Um, yeah, and I think, you know, up two one going into the third, um, you know, we could have done a better job, but, you know, they're a really good team as well. They're desperate and uh, we end up getting the win. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, six and five. We'd like to close that out for sure, but um, it's just an unfortunate play. Nathan, you, you go against Pablo and Francis. What makes him good in a shootout situation? Uh, I think just pa patience. Uh, yeah, he's he's really patient in there. Um, doesn't doesn't bite on the the first fake or anything. So, I mean, he's the goalie. He knows what he does, I guess. But uh, yeah, um, just like I said, he's really patient.
I'm, usu I'm usually like three steps behind his hands, so uh, yeah. I'm so I'm so late that it, I'm in the right spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I know most nights when you're about to go in, you have a hint. You go, the other goalie is having a bad night, or something is going on. What's it like to go in virtually instantly like that? I mean, it's uh, yeah, it's the worst case scenario because you see uh, your teammate go down, and uh, it's it's really tough to see that. And obviously, we had a we had a two one lead, so I was trying to uh, not allow the goal and. Uh, Trying to help the team to win, but uh, as Nate said, uh, it could have been a two-one or three-two. But uh, we take any win, so we're really happy we won. On the team, walk us through the, the pre dog save that he made in the shootout, the last one. Yeah, I mean, uh, I know he's he's really skilled. I know I know him from KHL. Uh, he was really young that time, and he I know he can make some plays. And I was just trying to to be patient as every time and. Uh, he he get really close, so I tried to put my put my glove close as close as I could, and he put it in. Thank you. No. <laughs> uh, I mean, he wasn't good enough to come back in the game, so I don't know where he's going to be at. To be honest with you, we'll see tomorrow how he responds. Um, I don't. Are these not riding him in there? So I see him coming across the front of the net and then readjust his route and go right into Kemper. Looks like it's intentional to me and he gets his head. So, I mean, I don't know how it can only be a two minute penalty. You know, our goalie's out again. And so, but I'm sure the league will look at it. I mean, I don't know, seeing it, it's not a reviewable play. So I think the refs handled it fine. You know, I thought maybe it could have been four or major depending on how you see it and how fast you think he's going and how intentional you think it is. But so I didn't really have a problem with way with what they called. Um, now I'd like to see the league look at it. Yes. He no. Yeah, well, they were uh, trying to get him off, but they were already getting ready to drop the puck, so he had to stay in. And yeah. Kemper gave up a receiver for uh, Frankie gave up two, and uh, two, two, yeah. But uh, obviously, you just like drop it in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he looks great <laughs> in the shootout. I think uh, real patient, uh, explosive. He's tracking the puck real well in there. I, I mean, he just looks real confident, and real patient to me. That's the, probably the two biggest things. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we've talked about this a little bit here recently that, um, like, our mindset is, hey, we played with a lot of leads, you know, over the last few years, especially even this year. And um, in years past, we haven't, you know, even with two real good teams the last two years, you know, coming back at times, it, it's difficult. It's it's not it's not easy to do. Um, if you look at any team's record and and you know, scoring first and playing with the lead leads to success most times. But, you know, part of the growth of our team has to be, you know, understanding that we're a really good team and if we're playing the right way and doing the right things, that it's not the score, who scores first should win the game. It's not then score at the end of the first, second. You know, the, the only score that matters is the one at the final buzzer. So not, you know, getting down on one another and, and having a – good resiliency to your whole club and, and understanding that teams are going to push and if they make something happen then we have to push back and so I think that's starting to I think we're gaining some confidence out of that so in that way I think it's a positive I didn't like the goal we gave up six on five or five on six at the end of the game because it we had really good we didn't get the puck out they made a nice they uh, I think it was Landy that had it and um, Hartman 
uh, gets a piece of his stick, so it's not as firm as what we'd have wanted it. They keep it in, and we had really good pressure, but it was just two on two at the net, and he slips in there all alone, you know? So it's a mistake, but it doesn't have to be the defining mistake of the game. You know, it's just another mistake. It's a game of mistakes, and they're happening all over the place. It's how you sort of recover from that, whether even on a play when someone makes a mistake or how you bounce back from that. And um, So to be able to you know, have that high of getting the go-ahead goal and then them taking it away and still finding a way to win the hockey game, I think, is a, is a positive for our team. You guys are setting records for remaining at home, and so I guess anything does that mean to you? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's two points, two valuable points. That's what it means to me most importantly. Um, but the guys should feel good about it. I mean, we've played really well in this building for more than just this year, and... Um, you know, our, I, I love it because our fans get to come watch us play some real good hockey. They get to go home happy, have a good time, um, which should make them want to come out again and support our team. And, you know, I know our guys love playing in front of a full ball arena. And um, so that's really important. And the two points, obviously, to keep climbing the standings is important to us. Well, the showdown they have a lot of home games in the past. They didn't have necessarily the home games. Is it important psychologically to know whether you're two goals ahead or two goals behind and you're both getting the streak? Is it important psychologically to the extent that they carry over to the playoffs and have a kind of close game on the way? Yep, I think that's what the whole regular season is for. Like, that's one lesson and one thing that you learn from, right? And one thing you can keep in the back of your memory bank and, and you draw on all of the experiences you have as a, as a player, as a team, uh, and you remember situations that you've been in. And um, so, yeah, being able to have success from coming from behind and, and having confidence in your, old build, in your own building is huge, winning tough games on the road, whatever it is, like there's – there's hundreds of those lessons that we want our team to keep banking, and we just keep drawing attention to them after they happen. And what even wins, you're, you're trying to learn something and see what you can take for the next game. So if you keep sort of bringing them to the player's attention, then they, you know, it's amazing how many times two games down the road something very similar has happened. And, and, and if you had success coming out of that, you know, you, you, you can bring it back up and then they can understand it a little bit more. It kind of brings you right back to the moment and gives guys a little bit of confidence. So I would say yes. How concerned uh, the Harvey Mason is about the possible asymptomatic? He did, and he is asymptomatic. Um, so again, it's a five day. I think it's Thursday that he's able to come out as long as he meets that threshold number, what it, whatever his PCR test is, it, uh, over 30. Yeah, so he's not, he can't travel with us. Um, if he hits that number on Wednesday's test, then he's a possibility to fly out for us and, and get ready to play for Thursday. Go Peter, then Mark. Yeah. Um, how pumped are you that Mason plays game one? Well, it was in. I mean, we could see it in. Uh, I mean, he shot it right off his toe, looked like right on the line, and then his whole pad goes in. <laughs> How confident was I? Uh, not 100%, but I mean, it was clearly in, you know. Uh, my advice while that was going on and while they were watching was because some, it's hard to see the puck in there. You, I, I, We could see a piece of it. Um, you know, you just never know. I just told Landy, hey, like, just tell him to play, play it forward a little bit because as soon as he starts bringing his pad out of the net like if you're only looking at it the one direction when his pad's going in it's tough to see as soon as he starts bringing it out of the net and their player starts putting his skate behind it you can clearly see the puck stuck in his in the tip of his skate and pad thank you David. Thank you, David. yeah all right thank you guys